Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob awaken, race B4, and hopefully become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, there is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so for those who don't know, you can start the process of awakening your race once you reach the second C. Okay, so we're gonna start at level 700 with an account that has human race and to make things faster, has human Buddha fruit. Guys, they're both human, right? Wait a minute! Okay, so first goal is to reach V2 on our human race. So we're gonna head to the green zone and locate this NPC named Alchemist. So he's here, so let's talk to him. Okay, there you go. Talk. I don't think you're ready yet. Oh no, guys. So what should we do? We need to finish the Bartillo quest. You can start this quest when you reach level 850. So first, we need to grind, right? And the fastest and easiest way to do it is go back to the first C. Guys, the first two mobs here in the second C is so hard to defeat. And they're so far apart. So off to the fountain C then start defeating Gali Pirates. Don't worry. We're just gonna use your left clicks. Yes, we're gonna use combat here, not Buddha skills. To make things faster okay target here guys is 775 there you go so once we reach that level we are now going back again to the second C again we haven't reached level 850 yet so we're gonna continue the grinding here with the swan pirates so again same strategy just left clicks don't worry guys again if you're using Buddha fruit especially when you're in the second C this might be the best fruit Except for magma or light, they can contest this fruit. So there you go at level 850. Off we go to the cafe. But let me update you on the stats first. Here are the stats: melee 1899, defense is 650. There you go. So at the cafe, let's talk to Bartil. You know, thank God. Blah blah blah. You need to defeat again 50 swan pirates. So that's kind of easy. There you go. Just keep on using your left click <laughs> or auto clicker. 47, 48, 49, last two guys. That's fast forwarded. <laughs> there you go. Last two, last one, there you go. 50 swan pirates after that. To make things faster, just get the quest of Jeremy. Actually, don't need to do this. Just beat Jeremy, the boss in this island. Actually, there are two bosses. Jeremy and Diamond, but you need to defeat Jeremy, okay? After that, there you go, left clicks. <laughs> Buddha the fruit is really good. Again, why we use this fruit? Because it's also human, right? Human Buddha fruit. Okay, so after that, let's head back to the quest giver. There you go. And he will tell you that the tournament is back to normal, blah, blah, blah. So let's head to the Coliseum located here. Okay. So just finish this puzzle. There you go. Y, C, S. Letter M, letter F, letter N, letter B, and that's it. Okay, as a prize, you will get a warrior helmet. After this, good job. We can now head to the green zone, yes, and talk to the alchemist. He will now give us a quest to find three flowers. There you go. Now he will let us unlock our potential. Okay, three different flowers. So how do you get them? As in the morning, you can find the, the red flower, the red rose. Here it is. There you go. So only in the morning. Next stop, you need to defeat mobs to get the yellow flower. There you go. Flower number three. Here it is. And the last flower, guys, you can only get it at night. The blue flower. So if you want to find the locations, just search it. Gamer Nom, all three flower locations. There you go. And after that, you can just go back to the alchemist. And he will then ask you 500,000 bellies. To pay him but don't worry it's all worth it here it is it will enhance your flash step cooldown and range plus one dodge for your observation hockey or your instinct not bad so next up to upgrade into v3 you need to head here dog house there you go under diamond boss there is a secret passage here but to activate the quest you need to defeat swan first so i decided to do that later and continue grinding so i'm gonna make this fast okay Back to Swan Pirates, we're gonna reach 925 here. After that, green zone, we're gonna start defeating Fajita. 
Guys, don't worry. There are no techniques here. Just use your left clicks and maintain enough damage, okay? Goal here is to reach level 1000. Guys, you're gonna do server hop here, okay? With Fajita. There you go. Just again, left clicks. After that, snow mountains. So here, only target snow troopers. Again, just left clicks. So that's why I'm just making things fast here. Target level here, 1150. I'm gonna show you the stats. Max melee defense, 999. Okay, so after that guys, we're heading, oops, boat, guys, we cannot fight this one, so we're gonna run, head to the hot and cold, target here, this one we can fight easily, smoke admiral, you can do wall strat here, just attack him, there you go, you don't need to dodge, but if you want more action, then face to face, defeat him, why not, right? So again, another series of server hop, until 1, 2, 50, after that, curse ship, target here, ship deckhands. Okay, so again, they're easy to defeat. You can still do wall strat here, but I don't suggest it. Just defeat him face to face. There you go. Target 1350. Garenom is kind of fast. Don't worry, guys. There are no techniques here as long as using Buddha Fruit. Just left clicks, okay? Next up, Arctic Warriors. Same strategy. There you go. Target level here is 1425. Okay, so after that, we are moving on to the final island. And that island is a forgotten island. There you go. Okay. Target sea soldiers. Left clicks again. Until 1,500. So we've skipped lots and lots of mobs. But make sure to follow this one in order to level up fast. Just focus. Okay. Focus. There you go. 1,500. Now we are ready to go to the second sea. Here are the stats. Almost max defense. Now we can start defeating. Uh, what is the name? Swan. Okay. So you need... A devil fruit that costs more than 1 million or 1 million. There you go. Give it to his uh, assistant and here you go. You can defeat him now. Don't worry, you can tank his skills now. It's really easy. This is a level 1000 boss. Just use your left clicks and again, that's it. So remember that this is the requirement to do the arrow quest. So there you go. Let's talk to him. For the requirement guys, you need to defeat Jeremy, Fajita, and Diamond. So again, they're easy to defeat now, especially now because we're level 1,500. There you go, Diamond down. Next up, Jeremy. There you go. And last but not the least, Fajita, located in the green zone. Okay. So after that, go back to him. Again, you will need to pay him 2 million bellies. <laughs> Actually, that's a lot. And after this, you will unlock your T-Skill, the last resort, okay? So now finish the, what do you call this, the Coliseum quest, you need to fight Indra. Don't worry, just use your <laughs> left clicks. <laughs> I've been saying that. After that, head to Mr. Captain and guys, welcome to the third sea. Okay, so now we can awaken our race. So let's head to the sea castle. I've already prepared the first requirement I have with me, my main account, the chalice. There you go. And we're gonna summon Indra, Battle of Gods again, so we need to defeat him. It's okay that you have someone with you. By the way, uh, it's not just Chalice, it's, it's God's Chalice, okay? After that, you will get this Valkyrie Helm, so just use it if you want. You don't need to equip it. After that, next stop, talk to this one. There you go, so you found some memory fragments, blah blah blah. Okay, so are you ready? So awaken the power, yes admin. Okay, so next stop. Guys, you need to start defeating or getting quests from this one, Elite Hunter. He will ask you to defeat one mob, so it's located around the map. So first, okay, yeah, we're gonna defeat Diablo, okay? So it is located in the Hydra Island. Let's head towards the Hydra Island. Here it is. So guys, this uh, Elite uh, Hunter quests, these enemies are using Devil Fruit. So for Diablo, is using Dark Fruit. We also have DeAndre using Magma Awakened. Guys, uh, take note, the damage of this uh, Elite Hunter quest mob is kinda high. The other one is Rumble Fruit user. There you go. Urban, okay? So guys, there is a chance that you can get Chalice here. But guys, I tried my best to get a Chalice but to no avail. It's really hard. So in between quests, you need to wait 10 minutes, right? I tried to grind Conjured Coco. Yes, in the final end, guys, check it out. I'm still 1,525, but guys, you can get Conjured Coco at this level. Check that out. We've obtained one. So you need at least 10, okay? 10 Conjured Cocos. There you go. So guys, 
after more than 20 quests, I decided to look for chests, right? You can get God's Chalice from chests after 4 hours. So there you go. We are able to acquire one. Guys, imagine, I defeated more than 20 or finished 20 Elite Hunter quests and that's really hard. So after that, you just need to go here, talk to Sweet Crafter. He will I'll give you the Candy Chalice. Okay, this is the second requirement. So you're gonna use the Candy Chalice to open a dimension, okay? So head to the Cake Land. You need to defeat 500 mobs from this island. This island only, okay? Not the Peanut Land, the Chocolate Land. So after that, after 500, you can now summon the dimension from Drip Mama. Here, this mob. So guys, a mob, sorry, NPC. Guys, make sure you have someone with you. Gamer Gnome, why is your screen gray? Because with my main account, we have the Awakened Sky V4 here. There you go. So fast forward to defeating it. There it is. We're gonna defeat this one. And our goal here is to get the Mirror Fractals. Oh, we also got the Spiky Trident. Not bad with the Pale Scarf. Okay, after that, let's head to the Great Tree on the very top, guys. So as you can see, <laughs> we're gonna just jump and use our Soru. There you go. It's kind of hard to be honest at first if you're not used to doing it. Okay, so in the top, you will find the entrance to the Temple of Time. Okay, here it is. So, guys, head towards this area, jump, and there is a lever. Guys, you cannot uh, pull that yet. There you go. You lack the strength to move it. So, guys, you need to wait for the Mirage Island. Guys, this is very hard. It took me two days to finish this part. Okay, so there you go. After that, just look at the full moon and use your skill. E, right, right, last resort. There you go. Just wait for it. Wait for the moon to shine. Shine on you. <laughs> there you go, guys. If the mirror fractal resonated, make sure to use fast mode. Guys, check this out. This is not fast mode, right? But when you use fast mode, there you go. You can see the floor now better, easier to find the gear. So we were able to find the gear here. There you go. So once you get that, there you go, indicator, you found a weird artifact. Now, guys, you can now pull the lever. Congratulations to us. Now is the time to awaken. Guys, imagine we're still level 1,500. And we're gonna awaken this race. So there you go, you need three other members with different races at full moon. Just press your skill in front of the trial. There you go, trial door. And for human race, you need to defeat a boss, okay? A weak boss. So, guys, I'm gonna show it to you once, just once. And after this... Uh, show you the passive skills of the Awakened V4 Human Race. There you go. See that? Very easy. Light Fruit user. Just use your left clicks again. So Gamer Gnome, how did you grind fragments? Uh, by defeating Elite Hunter quests and doing some raids. Okay, so I asked again my brother to help me and Tom Zen. Again, shout out to those guys. Thank you for helping me finish this one. Okay, so after this, there you go, you need to defeat your friends. So for me, I ask them to let me win. Okay, so after that, just follow this one, the wisp, or the light, or what they call this, whatever. He will guide you. It will guide you to the ancient clock. And here it is, guys. So as you can see, there are five gears. And after the first trial, you will now have a bar below the energy. So once the bar reaches max, you can now transform. So how do you gain it? By damaging or getting damaged, okay? There you go, transformation, okay. So guys, in order to upgrade this one, you need fragments, okay? So it will start at 1,000, next is 1,500, next is 2,000, there you go. Okay, you just keep on buying it, do trials. So guys, I'm gonna show you the passive. So first stop is the blue one, here it is, the limit break, okay? So there are two levels, so first level, Limit break is like uh, maximum 100. So I'm gonna show it to you now. So check this out. Normal left click, guys. I'm gonna show you. At zero li uh, limit break, it's 1058. So every time you hit someone, it will go higher. So at tier 1, maximum is 99 or 100. Check the damage. It's now 1500. So guys, the higher the limit break, the higher the damage. Okay? That's it. Very simple. The other passive is the red one, the psycho. So this one will give you two extra Sorus, okay? And after every Soru, you will be temporarily invisible. Okay, so once you, once you upgrade that, uh, your 
attacks can't be cancelled but let's try it first there you go so as you can see there are three bars under your limit break so you can use that see that guys after every Soru invisible so let's defeat this island empress so guys i think you can really use this for pvp right or for uh running <laughs> when someone is trying to like bully you you can always use this to run okay pair this with door fruit and no one will ever see you again <laughs> okay moving on i told you a while ago that we have five gears right so you can only uh unlock or upgrade one blue or red gear so you can choose whether you want level 2 limit break or level 2 cycle so it really depends to you if you level 2 limit break you will have 150 max for psycho you will here it is flash step charges now regen faster dash distance increase and moves cannot be cancelled anymore upon taking damage so it really depends to you again if what do you want to use i think for grinding it's the limit break for pvp it's the psycho so guys here it is to end this video we're gonna fight elephant with level 2 psycho there you go and buddha at level 1500 so guys do you think should we reach max level with this one on our next race awakening noob to pro video comment it in the comment section or this is enough as long as we uh like grind from v1 to v4 comment it in the comment section and guys i hope that you enjoyed this one okay so again that's it to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and about to defeat this elephant boss there you go that's it and gamer nom out